Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemskull and welcome back to The Sims Mobile. We are having a little bit of a drama in our Sims Mobile world. If you didn't see the last episode, we, oh, well, Owen and Fairy are BFFs. In fact, I have been working towards, we don't see it in Owen's, which is annoying, we can only see it in Fairy's. But I have been working towards the BFFs forever and they are almost at level 10 with their BFFs forever. And Owen, two episodes ago, found, well, he found his soulmate, Kelly, and they got married in the garden. It was beautiful. And I thought that then she would maybe move in, but it doesn't work like that. The game does not work like that. And so, <laughs> uh, instead of that nice, happy story, what happened was Owen and Barry ended up having a baby together um fairy does have a soulmate mark which actually here he is he, he's just hanging around he keeps coming in the house and just sitting on the sofa and it's like dude i don't know i mean i don't know what we're gonna do about that whole story but owen and fairy have had a baby little kendall over here who as you can see is ready to age up i didn't realize that that kind of happened quite so quickly and I should have done the bundle of joy event with her more than I did I only did it the one time I think the more you do it with them the better they are at events as they grow up so that's something to bear in mind for future babies definitely but what I would like to do is to make fairy dust and Kelly enemies so i'd like to bring her over and create an enemy relationship because like obviously kelly has just got married to <laughs> owen and then like the next minute he's having a baby with fairy which oh by the way like they've got changed as you can see fairy is back to her original pink hair which i love it looks so much like fairy she looked weird when she had red hair right and Owen, I really like this look on Owen. He's a bit unshaven at the moment because, I mean, a newborn baby is hard to look after. So he's a bit, a little bit stressed at the moment. But we should get into this party because this icon above the head of Kendall means we can age her up into a toddler, which is very exciting. I have had a little redecoration of the house, as you can see. I just keep redecorating and... I quite like decorating now, I think. Like, when the first game first came out, I didn't really like it. But actually, as I've gone through and unlocking more things and stuff, and, yeah, I quite like it. So you can see that the baby now does have her own room. And they haven't got separate bedrooms. Owen and <laughs> Fairy kind of just sleep here, which, like, if I was married to Owen, well, let, I still wouldn't be married to Owen. If this was happening, <laughs> I wouldn't still be married. But their event is finished. They finished their quick catch-up. I think that's what they were doing. Let's collect those rewards. And have they progressed to level 10? I think they progressed to level 10 then, did they? Yeah, they are level 10. We're 94% complete on the BFFs Forever story. So that's good. So let's go over. I shouldn't have used all of Owen's energy. I used all of Owen's instead of like splitting it between Owen and Faye. But let's come over here. And oh, just... <gasps> You just click on it and they turn into a oh my goodness cute little toddler we need to redecorate because we don't need that bassinet now do we so ah oh, let's should we redecorate i'm gonna redecorate quickly let's put this away for now and then in the babies and kids i mean maybe they're gonna be in the way can we get a toddler bed Whoa, we can't get a toddler bed because we need a super home ticket. Okay, she can't have a bed at the moment, but she can have a potty. Let's put a potty in the toilet here for her to use. What colour? Should we go with pink? No, I quite like that colour actually, that blue. Let's go with that one and maybe we'll just a high chair although she, like, she looks too big for a high chair to be honest but let's stick a high chair in the kitchen and yeah i like that color actually that goes well 
high chair. Oh, that's a bit far away from the table, right? And like child's play table. These are wow. Okay, I mean, let's let's get one. Let's get a child's play table. She like she hasn't got a bed. She needs something, right? <laughs> let's yeah. There we go. And I think we'll keep it with that kind of white colour. Oh, I've not got enough simoleons. Okay, you can't have one at the moment. Sorry, Kendall. So can we, yeah, we can do events with her. A real handful. Should I start an event or should I throw a party? Let's have a look. Let's, let's host a birthday party for her. First birthday. Start a party. Open to everyone. Hopefully... Someone will come to this party because the first party that we had, nobody came. It's kind of a disaster. So we need to decorate, right? Um, are there things in our infantry? Oh no, party items. Okay. Party sign. Please come. Let's put two out because we're desperate. And we're not ashamed to say that we're desperate for people to attend this party. We've got a cake there. Big pile of presents. Where are they going to fit actually? Because the presents are quite large. Maybe in her bedroom. Yeah, we'll place them in her bedroom there. And some party snacks on the table. This is. Looks good. Does pizza fit there? No, I have to put the pizza on the side. And maybe just. I mean. I don't want to put all of the balloons out. Maybe just a couple of banners. And a couple of balloons. I mean, am I happy with maybe one more balloons? I'm happy with that. Please, people, attend this party because the last party was such a disaster. Whilst we're having this party, actually, let's just oh, we can't do oh, yeah, we can a real handful. So let's just start this event with oh. So adorable. I love her. Look at her little blonde hair. She's so cute. Oh, ask her what's wrong. Oh. Oh, I love it. Rough house. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That's an adorable action. I absolutely love that action. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hang on. Let's. Because we. I'm assuming. Yeah. When we've got the kids' items, when we haven't got many, we've only got like the, <laughs> the potty really. Supervised potty time. But yeah. The more, the like, kids' items, the more interactions we can do, with the kids. Ah. Joke around. I love it. We just kind of abandoned the party. Is anyone coming to the party? I don't know how you get... Oh, the event's finished. If there's some sort of way to get more people to attend your party, please let me know because... Oh, look, good upbringing. She's got uh, ten more, two heirloom... Okay, excellent. I thought that the Bundle of Joy was the only way, the Bundle of Joy event that we did when she was a baby, was the only way to get this trait but we can continue doing so as she's a toddler we need to continue doing events with her we've leveled that up to two star but we want her to be a nice grown-up so <laughs> let's do snack race can we i want to do oh, i hope somebody comes where's kendall gone she's there let's see he Owen hasn't got much energy but, oh, switch outfit, change into random outfit. Oh, okay, switch outfit. Can we, are they the only two that we can have? I mean, that's a little more sort of party-y, I suppose, maybe. So is there maybe cool down on these events that we can do with kids? Oh, I like turtles. Kendall likes turtles. Maybe there's a cool down period. And when you can do an event with child, a child, because we're not able to do one at the moment, which is fine. Let's do some party actions. Get a slice of cake. I wanted to get something for 
Kendall, but we can't, it seems. What other actions? It doesn't seem that we can do any party actions with Kendall, which is a shame, because that's what I wanted to do. Anyone who's my friend, actually some of you have been sending me messages to uh, be a friend on the game, which I love, fantastic. If you don't know my game code, I will show you it, if I know where it is, where is it? It is in here, so there's my friend code there, DMMXHU7, I'll start putting it in the description as well actually, so you can find it in the description on every video. If you want to just send me an uh, invitation over and we can be in-game friends. Let's see, what can we do? Oh, we should hug. Oh, it's just too much. It's so adorable. What else can we do? See, I think, so listen to babbling and hug seems to be the actions we can do. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other actions that we can do with the toddler unless we're in an event. Are they called toddlers? I'm assuming they're called toddlers. We'll continue with this party for Kendall and what, like I said, what I want to do is before I can retire any of my sims, I want to make sure I finish up their story, or at least any of the stories I've got anywhere with. I mean, so I suppose the two peas in a pod, Misery Loves Company and Geek Speak, I haven't got that far into them. Like maybe two peas in a pod I may finish, I'm on level four with that, but definitely um, let's have a look at fairies. Can she? Yeah, she can retire now as well. Definitely, I want to finish this BFF story with her and then maybe do this tainted love one. But then poor Mark, soulmates. It's difficult to decide. Like, it's I'm torn between retiring them and seeing what happens next in the game. Or completing the stories that I want to complete. Not sure what I want to do, to be honest, at the moment. If you have any ideas and thoughts on which one I should do, let me know. Should I just retire them? Or should I continue with their stories? I would like for Fairy and Kelly to become like arch nemesis. Nemesises? That's difficult for me to say. Arch nemesis? Arch nemesis? What is the plural of an, a nemesis? A nemesis. You know what I mean. Anyway, I would like them to be rivals, obviously. Like, Owen is married to <laughs> Kelly and he's just had a baby with Fairy. And, yeah, it's not good. Oh, somebody joined. Hang on. Let's let's say hello. Two people joined. Hang on, let's have a look at our party. Oh my, like, loads of people have joined. Four people have joined. Hi, everyone. Hi everyone, welcome to the party, welcome to the party and we need a little party, where are they, party emojis, yay people have come to the party, like loads of people have come to the party, it's a success. I don't know how this one was a success and the other one wasn't, but people have come and pleased. These two are having a great time together. Where is... Is anyone going to talk to birthday girl? No, doesn't look like they are. Can we sing birthday song? Let's sing happy birthday to Owen. Not to Owen. With Owen. Catalina. Oh, that's all we can do. Okay, we'll just do those. Sing happy birthday. You need to come inside. We're singing happy birthday to you and you're just like outside. Oh, look at them. Mum and Dad singing away. That's so adorable. That's amazing. I love it. I've not seen them sing happy birthday before. Although she doesn't seem interested at all. She's like, more guests. Come on, I want more guests at my party. Roll up. Roll She's too cute. Okay, we finished the singing of happy birthday. Then we don't know. I was gonna see if we can do. She just keeps saying, I like turtles. 
I was going to see if we could do another event with her, but I don't know. If anybody knows what the sort of cooldown time is on that event, I love the way they walk. Let me know. Is she a new person to the party? No, I don't think she is, is she? Do you know this is a kid's birthday party? I'd like some kids here and not just these grown ups, but never mind. It's fine, it's fine. Look at her just like toddling along. She honestly is so adorable. Can we? I really. Oh, she's inside the cake. She. <laughs> get out. Let's give her a hug. Let's say hug. Why not? Aww. Oh, the party leveled up. Excellent. We have some guests this time. It's leveled up. Oh my goodness, look, I've just noticed the family portrait. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> look. That's cute. Although, poor Kelly. I can't help feeling sorry for Kelly. <laughs> but never mind. Never mind. We'll just forget about her. Move on. They have a kid now. They're raising it together. It, her, together. <laughs> I'm going to end this here, I think. I am in love with this little kid. She is adorable. I'm definitely going to make sure that I do... Oh, somebody else has joined the party. Hey, welcome. I, yeah, definitely going to do as many events with her as I can to try and give her the traits that I wanted to have, like good traits for when she grows up. I think that is how it works, that the more sort of attention you pay to them when they're younger. Oh, hello. The more attention you pay to them when they're younger, the better adults they become, or like the better, uh, what's it called, like traits that they can have and benefits, like they are better at certain careers or better at certain interactions with people. So, Panda Heart, this game is so cool. It sure is. But thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you've, been, if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!